Yo, what's up, my Acer chats? You know, I really need to find some new tagline because uh, I'm tired of saying swaggers and all that. What do you think, guys? I'm thinking about retiring swag out. I don't know. I, that's just so 2012 to me. Anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, too many leaks here. We're getting way too many fake leaks this year with Sonic. I mean, it's getting to the point where um, you can't even tell anymore what's real and what's fake. And, uh... I'm just, I'm getting really annoyed. So I even tweeted on my Twitter that, you know, I'm not going to believe anything Sonic. You know, we've had so many fake leaks this year, and it's only March right now, the beginning of March. You know, so we must be very wary as South by Southwest approaches. I mean, we've had that Sonic 20th anniversary game, Sonic Rings leak. That was fake. I knew it was fake just by the title. Then the Super Sonic collection that was made by uh, Blue Vivacity. I mean, a bunch of young Sonic tubers just posting a supersonic collection trailer supersonic that was fake somebody made that and then uh also that uh sonic 20th anniversary that was in japanese that even i fell for that was made by tbsf and he follows me so i was like oh crap <laughs> it's like you know what i'm done i'm no longer going to believe fake leaks and now we're hearing about pontac and graph supposedly leaving sega as writers and that even sounds more believable because that's not a video game leak or anything. It was literally their LinkedIn profiles. They wrote, both Pontac and Grav wrote that they ended their working terms with Sega from like 2018 and 2019 writing for their stories. I mean, who's to say Sega won't just hire them for the next Sonic game, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to talk about, we gotta be careful about leaks, ladies and gentlemen. We can't be believing anything. See, that's why I don't make videos about leaks and rumors, unless if I'm discussing about the rumor, like Game Explained. But I'm not gonna make, oh, new Sonic game confirmed? Cause that's just gonna make me look stupid when two minutes later it's confirmed to be fake. And a lot of fans are doing that. We're getting to the point where fan-made leaks are getting so real and so convincing looking. But I wanted to talk more about Pontac and Grab in this video because it seems very possible that they are done with Sega. I mean, this was reported on TSSZ. The last game that Grab wrote was, uh, not Grab, Ken Pontac. He was absent in Team Sonic Racing Story. So I think Grab wrote for that, but not Pontac, which is weird. That's why Pontac ended it back in 2018 or whatever, and Graph I think was 2019. I could be wrong. I usually get them mixed up. But them leaving seems like the most possible, not just because it was on LinkedIn, but because, you know, this is 2020, Sega seems to be turning over a new leaf, and why would they? After all the criticism and scrutiny Pontac and Graph have been getting for the past 10 years since Sonic Colors, and I think even Sonic Free Riders, why would they still use them as riders? Literally anyone could be a better writer than them. I don't hate them as people. You know, I don't hate them personally. It just, come on. They have not been the best writers for the series. If I were to play Devil's Advocate, they could be freelancers, you know? It's kind of like Tyson Hess and all that. Tyson Hess doesn't work at Sega. Sega hires him as freelance to do anything like, hey, can you draw up this uh, Sonic IDW cover for us? Or, hey, can you help us with the Sonic Mania intro? He does it and he gets paid. You know, Aaron Weber made that very clear when Rafa Knight was trying to talk crap about him and Sega. So there's a difference between working in Sega, like Aaron Weber, and being hired to work on a project or to do something, a commission. So maybe Pontac and Graf are a commission, but that would be weird because they've written stories for Sonic Colors, Generations, Lost World, Boom, Shatter Crystal, and Fire and Ice, Forces, I mean, partly Team Sonic Racing, that's like seven games. I mean, you might as well just hire them at this point. But I'm pretty sure Sega's going to change some things this decade. There's no way they're going to keep things the same. I mean, we could already tell by forces that they were starting to take the story a little more seriously, even though it was still cringe and the plot was still terrible. But, you know, it was written originally by Japanese writers. It was Pontac and Graf that translated it in, in English and put their little jokes and stuff, but they didn't have 100% control of the story in Sonic Forces as they did in Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors was all Pontac and Graf, you know, if I'm not mistaken. So they were less prominent over the years. So I just hope Sega's hiring different writers, you know? I mean, this is not just what I want. This is what everyone wants. Majority of Sonic fans, I would say 98% of them, want Pontac and Graf to leave. You know, it kind of sucks though that they're being hindered from writing other stories that they're good at, like uh, Happy Tree Family or whatever it's called. Instead, they're they're just stuck to writing half-assed stories for the Sonic games, and they're not good at that, you know? I just, I think they need to do other things. 
you know because i wouldn't want to continue working something if the fan base and community doesn't appreciate me you know they have not done sonic and sonic characters justice for the last 10 years i mean even generations which i love i love that game it's my third favorite sonic game the story what story <laughs> there's no story so like at least get ian flint at least get ian flint to write for at least one game one sonic game ian has always expressed interest in writing for the sonic games i don't know why they don't use him he's not too busy with the comics just get him to just write a story for one game at least outline it you know and at least now you can use him to bridge the gap with uh idw comics you know now, i'm not saying ian flynn has to be a mainstay you know i would love them to bring other competent japanese anime and manga writers to write for the sonic games to bring back that shonen feel you know what i'm saying to bring it back because sonic hasn't felt shonen for a long time now ian flynn could help out every now and then to keep things connected to the idw and yes, I want IDW to be canon with the Sonic games. I mean, if Star Wars and other comics can do this with their films and stuff, why can't Sonic? You know, I want the comics and the games to feel more interconnected. That way it will give more incentive to read the comics and play the games. So I would love that. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comments below. But um, yeah, I can't believe them leaks out there. But I really hope Pontac and Graf are done writing for Sonic. And I really hope they can bring some talent like some good competent writers get some writers from like some famous animes or mangas or you can even bring ian flynn i mean he's always wanted to write the story for at least one game why have you guys denied him that and he's been involved in sonic comics since the 90s right but anyway that's all i got for you guys today so remember to smash the like button comment subscribe all that good stuff and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out my preview on sonic rebound episodes 3 and 4 Alright guys, take care. And until next time, peace out. I don't know, I gotta stop saying swag out, but um, I'll think of something. Alright guys, see you later.